the death threats haven't been as frequent, thankfully. So thank yeah, you, everyone. There'd be, <laughs> yeah, there'd be more kind of not ones to be taken seriously. You know, if I see you on street, I will kill you kind of. And you know, it's a 14 year old. So you're kind of like, you know, because the other ones came in. It was from a f- f- fella that had well-known ties to a certain Limer gang. So it was to be taken seriously, you know. But I remember then, like, you know, people were asking me, was I going to cancel the Limerick concert and all that? And I went down with a fake AK-47 and got a stab-proof vest and went out on stage. And I was like, if you're here tonight, please do it. So you have to. And I was, I was scared. Like, I was scared. Do you remember we were pulling in and going, like, who's in that car and stuff? Mm-hmm. And who's that? Because there is fear, but you have to just, like... Like, I, I've I've more fear dealing with my own panic attacks going on stage than some f- random fella that might run up and stab me. So, like... And I was nearly killed after my motorbike crash so like when you face death you kind of like well if you're here just come up and stab me you know it'd be great press for me anyway but i think the difference is like he'll get those kind of empty threats like oh i'll kill you whatever but i wake up in the morning and like i've turned all my social media private because it's all it's all men all the time just picking on my appearance with daughters and things as well with daughters or whatever like and i just wake up every morning and going what's wrong with your nose or you look like a man in drag and just all this crap like and i just can't i just said to him one day that i was crying like i I don't want to wake up anymore reading this stuff so i just change everything to private it's just it's not worth it like and one thing like really like my looks have never come into anything about the videos no one ever goes like oh he has a a crooked nose or he's very thin well some people say thin but that's the accident i don't care about that they don't mean that though they're like yeah 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 they don't no i suppose yeah. but with a female or with a woman in it it's immediately your looks that are picked up it's immediately she's criticized by her looks because it's still that thing that misogynistic thing where women are only judged by their looks and not the content of what they deliver or the content of what they say in the message you have to sit back and you have to go like i send you the messages we get sometimes from people that have lost daughters and they watch the videos and it's the only thing that got through them got them through it or doing chemo or they lost a kid and like I'll screenshot it and send it to Sinead and like I'm like this is what we do this is this is this is the real effect we're having on people it's always going to be taken up wrongly if you want to take it up wrongly like like I put up numerous posts about how much influential he was to me as a nearly like 90s raver kid like my first and only concert until I met Sinead was Leisureland Prodigy in 93 I think I was 12 going to it like you know what I mean and we just danced our hearts away I think I drank like about 15 Fantas and like (laughs) 8 bottles of Coke that was the thing at the time but like I put up like how much it was to me how much he meant to me I think as well like when he did pay the tribute like we all appreciate how much things like Keith Flint passing away or anyone passing away can affect anyone kind of watching that and you know we appreciate it upsets people but there's no need to take it out on how Stephen wanted to pay a tribute to someone who was his idol I just think that's very unfair mad like that like people told us at the beginning that our stuff wouldn't even travel to Dublin it was too west of Ireland orientated and just the explosion of where it's got like we were on Fox we were on CNN some of our clips so we were on American and English TV before we were on Irish TV so mm-hmm. it's just kind of it's really strange I think at times but it's so like your heart fills with pride sometimes I got a lot of snaps from people on Paddy's Day and they were showing our sketches on big screens in pubs and everyone was pure silent watching them and it was just like you can't like money can't pay for that feeling that Like I brought out a song and I went to number one in the Irish iTunes chart, which was incredible. And I donated the money to charity. We we bypassed Lady Gaga for about 15 minutes. But still, I knocked her off the top of the chair for 15 minutes. So I was delighted with that. So I'm just kind of kind of going into a bit of rap hip hop music as well, because that was always my first love. Obviously, some of the earlier Farmer Michael videos were doing rap satire. So it's always been my first love. And I'm kind of settling into that now. I want to do a bit of music as well at the same time. So watch out. For us in the future, everyone, because it's very bright.